Yeah, robotics is essentially the design of, the study of, the making of robots. That brings me to my next thought, which is, what are robots? Well, a uh, simple way to think about it is if you take a machine, combine it with code, then the, the, the result is a robot. Um, in this case, it's basically a, uh, a vacuum cleaner mixed with code getting a self-cleaning, uh, you know, uh, getting a Roomba. And if that Roomba itself could actually think, then you would have artificial intelligence. So that, that's another field that's, that's intertwined with robotics. So let's break down robots even further and, and, and talk about their specific abilities. So that's one way of looking at robots. You can look at what they can do, what kind of limbs they have, if they even have limbs. You know, how do they get around? Do they have tracks? Do they have wheels? Uh, are they on land? Are they swimming? Are they in the air? Are they in space? I mean, there's all kinds of different abilities that robots have. And of course, this is directly related to what kind of tasks they're going to perform. And you can think of a factory robot that's making, you know, vehicles as having specific tasks. And even technically a 3D printer is a robot. And you can look at the actual physical size of the robot. So there's nano machines, there's micro robots, and then there's huge industrial robots. I mean, you could hook up code to a crane theoretically and have a, uh, a gigantic robot. Um, the physical size is, of course, a factor. And how autonomous it is, you can think of a rover driving around over on Mars, exploring its environment as a pretty autonomous robot. And there's drones. Uh, autopilot on planes these days has a lot of autonomy. How intelligent the robot is, very important. So think of what I mentioned before with, you know, if a robot has artificial intelligence, it's obviously on the cutting edge of, of how smart a robot can be. And another way you can look at robots is how human-like it is. So they're cyborgs where you actually have uh, robotic parts mixing with human flesh. And then there's robots that look like humans or have the structure of humans, and those are humanoids and androids. And then there's also robots that humans kind of get inside of, sort of like a suit, and those are called mechs. So there are lots of different ways of looking at robots. So one of the big things that a robot needs is sensors. So uh, one of the big things these days, especially with self-driving cars, is what's called LIDAR, L-I-D-A-R, and that's where a, a robot is sending out lasers and pulling in information that way. There's also sonar with sound and radar with radio waves. You know, there's also touch sensors and all kinds of ways that a robot can sense its environment. Now, when, an a when a robot actually wants to do something, when an action needs to happen physically on a robot, it needs an actuator. So this is, you can think of as the muscle of a robot, where uh, it could be a gear or um, it could be some kind of pulley, but you need an actuator. And if you were going to actually build your own computer, there's mainly two fields of devices that you would look into. There's single board computers and microcontrollers. So one of the most popular single board computer is the Raspberry Pi. And so that's a full-fledged mini computer where you can actually plug a monitor into it, get an internet connection, plug a mouse and keyboard into it, and have a, a, a little computer. And for microcontrollers, there's Arduino. There's other uh, products, but Arduino is one of the big ones in this field where you can think of it as a brain of a robot. So essentially, you take the Arduino and you get a bunch of different parts you know, it could be a button with a speaker on it. There's a lot of different options. Uh, but you ultimately get those connected into the Arduino through what's called a breadboard. And you upload code from your computer directly to the Arduino microcontroller. And you can design your own robots. And if you just want to test this idea out, there's actually ways to do it virtually for free. Um, all you got to do is make an account on Tinkercad Circuits, and you can actually work on virtual Arduino projects for free and get a feel for it. So it's actually really cool, if not a great way to just prototype some ideas. So I, I hope this video helped you understand the, the field of robotics better. And 
Um, you know, it's just a bird's eye perspective, but I, I, I think it's important to have a solid foundation of information um, before you, you dive in to, you know, a particular aspect of it. So hope to see you next time. Take care.